Hey everyone, Julie here. You know we're all about diving deep into the tech world and today it's all about data migration. And yeah, I know, data migration might not sound as exciting as like unboxing the latest GPU or something. But trust me, this stuff is crucial, especially for all you businesses out there. Seriously, we're talking about the lifeblood of your company, your data, and why you might need to pick it all up and move it. We're gonna break down the top five reasons why companies go through this whole process. So buckle up, smash that like button, and let's get right into it. Okay, first up, let's talk tech upgrades. We all love getting shiny new hardware, right? Like who doesn't love that new computer smell? But for businesses, it's not just about the smell. Upgrading to the latest and greatest tech means better performance, new features, and the ability to handle more stuff. But here's the catch. You gotta move all your data to that new system. And that, my friends, is data migration in action. It's like transferring all your files from an old clunky hard drive to a blazing fast SSD. Everything's gonna run smoother, faster, and you'll be able to do so much more. Next, we've got data center consolidation. Imagine having data scattered across multiple locations. That's a logistical nightmare. Data center consolidation is all about bringing all that data together in one place. This means less overhead, easier management, and yeah, saving some serious cash. But to do it right, you need data migration. It's like moving all your stuff from a bunch of different storage units into one awesome organized warehouse. Everything's in one spot, easy to find, and you're not wasting money on unnecessary space. Chapter 3. Cloud 9. Why everyone's migrating to the cloud? All right, let's talk cloud. It's not just some fluffy thing in the sky anymore. It's where everyone's putting their data these days. And for good reason. Cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, they're like renting a giant super secure data center. You get scalability, accessibility, and you only pay for what you use. But to take advantage of this cloud goodness, you gotta get your data there. Data migration is that magic bridge that takes your data from its old home to its new cloud paradise. Chapter four, mergers and acquisitions. Making data friends, mergers and acquisitions. Sounds kind of corporate-y, right? But it basically means companies joining forces or one absorbing another. Now, imagine the data chaos when that happens. Different systems, different formats, it's a mess. Data migration comes to the rescue again. It's about integrating all that data, making it play nicely together, so the new bigger company can actually function. It's like taking two puzzle boxes, dumping them out, and then putting all the pieces together to make one awesome super puzzle. Chapter five, backups and replication. Because data disasters happen. And finally, let's talk about backups and disaster recovery. We all know data loss is a nightmare. Hard drive crashes, ransomware attacks, bad stuff happens. That's why you need backups. And not just backups, but backups in different locations. Data migration helps you create those backups, ensuring your data is safe and sound in multiple places. It's like having multiple copies of your house key. If you lose one, you're still good to go. Outro data migration, your key to success. So there you have it. The top five reasons why data migration is mission critical in today's business world. From tech upgrades to cloud adoption, mergers to disaster recovery, it's all about keeping your data safe, accessible, and working for you. Remember, data migration doesn't have to be a scary monster lurking in the server room. With the right planning and execution, it can be a smooth transition that unlocks a whole new level of efficiency and growth for your business. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into data migration. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome tech insights, and I'll catch you in the next one.